Iron. You want it, but how are you going to get it? Unlike copper and tin, it's a little more complicated. So we're going to break down how you can find iron and make some iron gear in Valheim. If you find this video useful, make sure to leave a like and hit the sub button if you haven't already. We really appreciate it. All right, let's get to it. Before you're ready to start harvesting and using iron, you're going to need to make some serious strides through the meadows and black forest biomes. Iron is located in the swamp biome, which is home to some pretty tough customers in Valhelm's mid-game. The swamps have enemies that wield poison, like blobs, plus tougher combatants such as draugers, who can make quick work of you with bows if you're not paying attention. To hang in the swamp, you're going to want to invest in bronze armor. Once you've defeated the meadows boss, you'll gain hard antler, which you can turn into a pickaxe. Use that to mine tin, found near water, and copper, found in the black forest, which can then be combined at a forge to make bronze. Combined with leather, you can make bronze clothing that will offer a lot more protection than the leather and troll armor you've probably been wearing. You'll also want to invest in bronze weapons and a fine wood bow. Once you've got better gear, start searching for swamps. These dark areas border the ocean and are marked by sparse trees and muddy areas that are tough to traverse. You don't just want any swamp though. You're searching for dungeon structures in the swamp called sunken crypts. You won't be able to enter these right away, but mark them on your map because they're your focus when you go hunting for iron. Once you've got bronze armor and a better bow, you're ready to take on your second target in Valheim, the Elder, which is the Black Forest boss. You'll need to locate its altar by interacting with ruined tablets, which are usually located in underground burial chambers or nearby destroyed stone towers. Destroying the Elder gets you a Swamp Key, which you'll need to actually locate the iron that's hidden in any swamp area. The Swamp Key can open the aforementioned Sunken Crypts, the only places where you can find iron at this point in the game. You'll also need a key to find and take down Bone Mass, the Swamp Biome Boss, and the next target on your hit list. Hopefully, at this point, you've marked some Sunken Crypt locations on your map, and you can now put your Swamp Key to work. Crypts are similar to Burial Chambers in that they sometimes contain enemies, in this case, Draugers, so be careful as you open doors or clear pathways. Try to take out Draugers from a distance if you see them whenever possible, since you don't want to get stuck in a tight location where it's tough to escape from trouble. Crypts are also fairly flooded, which can make it difficult to get around in the midst of a fight. You'll find scrap iron in two locations within sunken crypts. First, in the various chests that are scattered throughout these dungeons, and second, in muddy scrap piles. The latter are big black piles of goo in sunken crypts, usually blocking doorways. You can smash through them with your pickaxe, although you'll find that the hard antler pickaxe will require fairly regular repairs as you go. The last step for building iron armor and weapons is to smelt it as you would copper and tin. You'll need a smelter in your base to do so, which will likely also require a kiln, which can produce the coal you need to run the smelter. If you're employing portals through your adventures, you'll also want to note that metals like scrap iron can't be carried through them. You'll have to walk or sail with your iron hull to bring it back to other locations. Because of this, it's a good idea to try and find swamps with several sunken crypts and build an outpost base near them where you can do your iron forging. You can travel through portals with armor and weapons, but not with metals that haven't been forged yet. So save yourself a lot of marching or sailing by making your gear near where you want to find your iron and using portals to travel instead. With iron gear, you should be strong enough to take on bone mass. Defeating it will earn you the wishbone, which you can use it to find buried iron outside of sunken crypts. You'll also need it to locate silver, the next metal you'll require to amplify your gear. Hopefully these tips will help you progress further in your Viking journey. If you're somebody brand new to Valheim who stumbled on this video, we actually have a beginner's guide you can go check out or recommend to a friend you're trying to get into the game. If there's anything you'd like us to cover in a future Valheim video, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.